What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. We're doing more call time. Because that's how we do, you know? Sometimes. Playing in the arena open sealed this weekend. No, I'm not. I do not like sealed. And I'm not super concerned with uh, competitive play. So the answer is no. I'm just going to pause this until uh, this fills for some reason. I feel like we're jinxing it. I don't know what's going on. Okay, we finally, we finally filled up here. And we've opened nothing really that great. The Raven's Warning. Not ideal. Not ideal. I do like Giant's Amulet a lot. This card's pretty bad. Bergstrider is also fine. Shimmer Drift Veil is just reasonable. I mean, I'm pretty sure I like Amulet better than Bergstrider. Maybe? I mean, they're both 4-4s, four but this sticks around and gives Hexproof, and this is also fine. I mean, I don't know. I really do. I really have been enjoying drafting snow, though, so. I do like a Sorolf's Packmate. I really like Draugr's Helm. Um, I think we're just taking, I think we're just taking Packmate here. Another another Bergstrider. I like a snow covered swamp. And thankfully there's not much in here that I actually care about. Jarl's fine, but meh. I'm gonna take the swamp. I mean it, like it puts us in black green anyway. See, and then you have a pack like this where it's like the Snowland is gone. I think it's just Carfuck Kennelmaster. Meh. I don't like a fourth pick Kennelmaster that much, but here we are. So, also Snowland's gone here too. Someone's someone's cutting us off. Pick is fine. I think I just might want to actually raise the Jogger. Seems fine. Let's take a raise the Jogger. Hmm. Guardian Gladewalker. I mean, Carter is great. We only have one red, one green card. I'm going to take the Carter, I guess. These packs have not been great. I guess Craven Hulk is fine. I don't think I want a second Kennel Master yet. Could also just take Sentinel and Splash for the red. Oh, what up, Thanos? Always a pleasure, my dude. Yeah, I like this better. I, I'm not a huge fan of the Sentinel, but I think it's I think it's fine. Especially if somehow we do end up in snow, and we can play like multiple colors. So. Ooh, I like a Skemfar Elder Hall here. Let's take that. Eh, two drop. Sure. These these packs have not been great, but they're not the worst, right? Like, I mean, these are all very playable things. Draugr Recruit's kind of meh. Skull Raid's kind of meh. Raise the Draugr might just be fine. Elf, Wolf, Berserker, Berserker. Yeah, I'll just take a second. Am I going to play a second Raise the Draugr? I don't know, Maybe. Hmm. 
Eh, none of these are great. I'll just take the land. Another elf makes the arrays a little better. Village rights, fine. These are like this is a, this is a, an entire pack full of cards. I don't mind playing, but I'm also not excited about playing. Skimfar Avenger. Whenever I'm going to draw a card and lose a life, could actually be just that. It's a three-one for two. We have a lot of elves so far. Sentinels and elf. Berserkers and Elf, Comes Faithfuls and Elf. Neon Tokyo Rain, welcome back. Really appreciate it. 18 months. 30 months on an 18 month streak. Yeah, I'll take this. I mean, at the worst, like we village rights it, we can also get it back. So, Elvish War Master. Are we just Elf Tribal now? Interesting. Um, I, so I think, I think people are coming around to gold vein pick, but I also think that it's a card, uh, that works better in certain decks than in others. Like you want a lower curve to go with the, uh, to go with the pick. I think Raven wings is fine here. Blightsteel does let us splash the Carter. Curder. I think we just want grizzled outrider though. I'm gonna put this guy over here. Shimmer Drift Veil is fine, but I don't know if I want to tap land that just like is one or one or the other of our colors. <sighs> Interesting. Like, this card is bananas. I mean, it's not the easiest card to splash here, for sure. We do have Shimmer Drafail and a Jasper, a Sentinel, and nothing else in this pack is exciting. I'm going to take this for the potential of it. I'm actually, I think the Shapeshifter is actually better than the Horizon Seeker here simply because of the the elvish nature of it. All right, we'll double it up. This is a lot of elves in our deck. I do like a Broken Wings. Are you an elf? Oh, you're a Spirit Knight? Okay, sounds good. I think Broken Knight, uh, Broken Wings is actually main deckable. Elf Berserker, don't care about you at all. I'm still going to take it. It's still an elf. We have multiple elf synergies. Nothing else in that pack is good. I'll take the pick. Hmm. Becomes Dana Fisher. Is it an elf? Sounds good. I'll take it. Easy, Jarl. Blight's Step Pathway is pretty sweet here. Wow, that's a decent pickup if we ever want to play the, the Carter. Curder. I think this actually looks pretty decent right now. Our curve is extremely low. Ooh, another Carfell Kennel Master? That's not terrible. I really don't like the one drop. Hopefully, I'll have to play the one drop. The old Dusk Wielder. Second, open the omen path. Omen paths. 
Well, that's not that's not very good. Elvish Elven bow is nice. Another pack mate as well. I think I like pack mate over Elven bow to be quite honest. I mean, I get that it's an elf, but have you ever played pack mate before? Also, Draugr's helm is real good. If either one of these table, I'll be grateful, but I don't think so. <gasps> Look at the top five cards you really an elf warrior. Put the rest on the bottom of your library in any order. Perfect. Feed the serpent too. Nice. Uh, Elderleaf Mentor is two elves. I mean, it's not the greatest card, but like we're filling out our curve pretty nicely here. One three drop, two four drops. I feel like we're playing the um the elf precon. Hmm. Another Elderleaf Mentor. Colossal Plow. I don't foresee us colossal plowing. I'll take the mentor. I don't think we need another a third guardian glade walker, but there's really nothing else here, so. Uh we already have a broken wings in the main deck. I don't think we're gonna play two. Oh wow, Draugr Necromancer? What? How is that sixth pick? Oh boy. Well, I guess we're putting the Shimmer Drift Veil back in the deck. Um, I don't think Mammoth Growth is that great. Uh, Draugr's Helm, on the other hand, is pretty good. Three lands, 26 cards. This is our deck so far. I'll put Broken Wings in the sideboard for now. I don't foresee us playing it if we don't have to. See, even this Mammoth Growth, I'd rather just have the Grizzled Outrider. Especially when we have two Raise the Draugrs. If it was Trample as well, like that'd be one thing. But like I just don't feel like we need it. We have Goldvein Pick and Raven Wings as kind of ways to buff our guys. Sure. Quad. You know, this card's not great, but it's still a 2 2 flyer. I'll take it. Means you don't get beat, beat in the head with it, so. Oh, I think Fortell is great, don't get me wrong. I'm just not a huge fan of it on uh, Mammoth Growth. Not to say I'm not a fan of it on Mammoth Growth. I think it's good on Mammoth Growth. I'm just not a fan of the card. I'm not a fan of just like plus four, plus four for three, even if it's divided up over two turns. This is 42 cards. How many elves is this? Nine elves? Actually, it feels like more than that. Oh, but two are shapeshifters, so that's 11. Yeah, that's actually pretty good. Why do we have planes in here? Oh, because the best car shield mate? Get out of here. <laughs> oh, get out of here. You old trickster, you. I can see us not wanting Goldvein pick, to be honest. I think Raven Wings is probably fine in terms of equipment. Yeah, I think this looks pretty good. I, I'm, I think we're playing Shimmer Drifail because it does help with Draugr Necromancer. And having two lands to come into play tapped is not a huge cost. Six. 
So what is it? Seven, eight, nine, seven, eight, nine. I mean, that's pretty good. Um, I definitely don't want to go to 16 lands. We have four or five drops here. Like, we want to hit land drops, and we have plenty of card advantage in the form of, like, Draugr Necromancer, double pack mate, double raise the Draugr. I think this deck looks real sweet. Plus, we can draw cards with uh, Skemfar Avenger. I wish it wasn't when another, but... Oh, God. Cancel. I just want this to close. I can say to OK. Get rid of that. Let's put our War Master here. That's more representative. All right, last draft we went mono giants. This time we're kind of going mono elves. <coughs> um, yeah, this is okay. I think this hand seems more suspect than it is. Also, we can get Wolf back here and get both of these guys. Dusk Wielder. Seems fine. Wow, there's a... <laughs> oh, God. Uh, I banned main board and main board because there's no such thing in Magic the Gathering as a main board. That is a fictional term. Like your general in Commander. I'm gonna play by general. Well, the format's called commander, so if they're not if not if they're not referring to your commander, I don't know what they're referring to. I mean, Dusk Wilder into Pilfering Hawk is not the most aggressive start. Not the most oppressive start. Okie dokie. This is weird to attack here. I still get to block. Oh, they're going to boost. Got it. Well, we're definitely going to sacrifice this guy. I mean, we're just going to put the 2-2 two -two on or the counter on here. I'd rather have a 3-1 and a 2-2 two -two than a 4-2 and a 1-1. One -one. Do you mean the Elder Dragon in my Highlander deck? I do. That's exactly the one. Tell me something good. Kettlemaster's good next turn. So is Ray's getting back uh, two creatures. 
Well, that guy's good. That guy's good. Man, I wish we had better removal now. Are we going to count this? See, the funny thing is the word die means go to a graveyard. And this does this prevents our creatures from dying, unfortunately, so it's kind of awkward. Okay. Trickster God's Heist? Interesting. Okie dokie. Feed the Serpent is kind of a nombo with Draugr Necromancer, which is pretty good. We do not have any reach. Okay. Hmm. This 4 4 is really, really holding us back here. Okay. Uh-huh. 
<clears throat> they didn't loot and they didn't do anything. That's interesting. Really? I mean, that seems completely lootable. You got it. One, two, three, four, five. Double white. <laughs> Lord Trick. I guess it's fine. Okay. No drawsies. Wow, that was not bad. Okay. I was not expecting them to block. Did they miss the onboard trick? Or did they have raised the Draugr and then they're going to get back an actual Draugr? Because that's kind of funny. And by funny, I mean on brand. I feel like we should have put maybe all three in front. What is the hold up here? I have like seven more minutes on my clock. I don't know what's going on, man. Yep, this is what I should have blocked with all three. Yeah, I'll take action. That seems fine. Hmm, so we got one, two, three, four, five. We have four, five, six, seven. That's fine. Oh my god, this is so many dusk wielders. I think we're just going to raise a, a wolf. We have nothing to do next turn, and we have a second raise, so I'm not really... Oh, they didn't attack at all. Watch, we're going to draw way down. Ready? Do -do 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 -do. Hmm. Not a way down. Hmm. 
I'm gonna put it on the skim far avenger here, because that means they have to double block it if they want to kill it. They only have I guess I guess they have enough mana so they can actually deal us four next turn. Actually they have to block something, so. <laughs> they just take six and go to three. They could also loot here. Man, I feel like Kurt should be here for this Japanese conversation. Kurt is obsessed with Japan. Yeah, this is totally fine. They, they changed their mind. Okay. Okay. Yep. So we get to draw a card here. They go to five. Nice. I'll keep Raze up. Right now we have just a, a shapeshifter, but that's that's anything. So we can take two from the Dusk Wielders. We have plenty of blocks. If they have like another run ashore, they can only activate one anyway, so we get to block one and take two. Even if they somehow manage to negate our blocks and activate them both, we only take four, so... Pilfering Hawk number two. This deck is just filled with mono one twos. Mono tier tier three one twos. Oh my god. Seventeen. 25. Okay. <coughs> we have five. So if we attack with everything, they go block, 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 they take two. Yeah, it's still not really super worth it. I guess it forces them to block the big guys. Or they can block five, four, one, and take four. I feel like this is an uphill battle for them. Does it matter? Nah. Okay, so they have nothing? Okie dokie. <clears throat> Raise the Draugers. Okay. What does this do? Ha <laughs> ha. 
the answer was nothing. They'd have to have two removal spells. They'd have to actually block one of these guys, block the 3-3, three, three, kill the 5-5, five, five, and also deal with one of the 1-1s. One, so, did not seem likely. I wish I had some better answers for the... Uh, the Draugr. I feel like that guy's actually pretty decent. But they didn't seem to have any removal that actually kills our creatures. They just, all we saw was feed the serpent, which actually exiles it, which is kind of a nonbo. Uh, yeah, this is a keeper. <clears throat> Elvish Warmaster. Did they let us play first? I'm confused. Into Berserker. Or we can make this guy a 3 3 on turn 2. Make an elf. Actually, now we're just going to play Comus Faithful. Come on, 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 I mean, I'm definitely getting in there. I don't think they have a trick, so. They did not. <coughs> Okie dokie. Artichokey. Let's play old Glady Boy. Counter here. What does he build you do? I always get plus, five, plus two, plus two in death touch, so seven mana. I guess that gets around um, Draugr pretty easily. Oh, again. Again. Uh, I'm not going to keep Berserker up. I'd rather just draw two here. I guess we could have actually foretold this. Sometimes I forget that you can foretell a, like a green card using only black mana because the foretell cost is two colorless. So... So I'm probably not doing anything here. Uh, sure. <coughs> we learned our lesson this time. My turn. I mean... I think this is just better here. If we draw a green source, we can still play Sentinel and get our elf. Okie dokie. They can't even play like Blood on the Snow. They're like very far behind on mana, so. I guess they can play Crippling. The Neg 3, Neg 3 card. That would be good. Okay. Well, our deck seems sweet. I am not playing or streaming the sealed event. I do not like sealed. <clears throat> I don't think sealed is an enjoyable format. And I don't really care about... Then again, I may change my mind. So, As of now, my position on sealed is that I dislike it. Does anybody have a link to the event? I would love to see some details. Where were 
you last turn. I guess this is nice because we can go <clears throat> Packmate and then next turn we can uh, play Skem Farm and play Packmate. Oh, that guy is problematic. <clears throat> Sealed is better than standard? Disagree. Hard disagree. Oh, wow. Revitalize. Interesting. Seems good. Um, all the cool kids are doing it. Dang, this is some peer pressure. Let's play Harold. I'm assuming we're going to hit. Look at that, we did. We're very good at this game. Um, what's our plan? We're going to play Elder Hall this turn. Probably Grizzled Outrider next turn. Eh, no attacks. Oh, we could have a land actually made this a 4-4? I don't know if that's great, though. This draws a card, this draws a card. <clears throat> Our land is pretty sweet. Sealed is better than sleep slipping on a Lego. That is true. <clears throat> so, I guess I guess you got something there. Skimfar Avenger, interesting. Three, four. Play land. Um. I mean, this could really bite us if they don't, if they have an answer for our Calmaster. But we do get to <clears throat> weigh down next turn if they have an answer. Plus play something like Outrider. Well, I think Hunter wants to come in. Um, I mean, I'm pretty sure they're going to plus, plus two, plus other guys, but that's kind of fine. I don't really care. Or they're not. Huh. Neg three, neg three. Save one of their guys. Okay. Um... Harold having Menace seems good. Um, yep, that's pretty good. 
Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Wow. Might as well get in there. Yep, I got wrecked all right. <laughs> okay, you got it. Oh wow, this is looking good. Yep, we're going to go to the next game. <coughs> Let's just try not to walk into six zombies at once. Uh, <laughs> keep. <clears throat> Seems good. Turn two elder, turn three this guy, keep up village rights to sack it. I mean Avenger, and I don't know why I said elder. <clears throat> I mean, Cardor gains life, but you also have to uh, play red, which I'm not really very excited about doing. Okay. The Avengers. It's true. I don't want that on there. Remove the stop. You got it. Six, yeah. I mean, what are the odds this is a uh, Turgrid Shadow? It's a God's Hall Guardian. That's pretty good. Draw three seems good. Nice. Okay. Oh, that was a good hit. Unfortunately, <clears throat> not good enough. No attacks. <coughs> Okay. 
Man, these big fat creatures are really doing a number on us here. Um, mentor, Sentinel. <clears throat> no attacks. End the turn. I feel like we're not doing great in this match. Okay, don't care about that at all. Or that. Hmm. Interesting. <coughs> this might be our ticket out of here. Just highlighting everything, huh? Sure. We're playing the land because if they end up uh, killing a couple things, we get to go Jasper, a Sentinel, and Forest into Raise the Draugr. Dan's, you also said the Avengers, not the Avengers. <clears throat> it's not the same at all. Do you have one final three mana spell? Or, uh, I guess a two mana spell. That's, that's good. Okay, that's actually insane. Thirty three, thirty two. Everybody in. <laughs> A vinegar is incorrect. No, a vinegar is a thing you use in your recipes. Just any, uh, two tablespoons of white of vinegar. The white of vinegar, huh? You know, kind of like that. Give me those ice counters, buddy. You got no cards in hand? Well, I feel like this matches. This this game is ours, at least. Uh, guess we'll play this guy. Because next turn, if we draw a second spell... I guess we can cast both of these, and then Infernal Pet is lethal, so... Oh, I get that guy too? Sweet. What would you do for a Klondike bar? How much does this cost? One, two. <clears throat> so we can actually cast this and then just equip it to something. For Menacio. We can equip it to our Infernal Pet. Oh, we can also give our Infernal Pet Float. I don't know if that matters. It means it can't be blocked by this. So it's a lethal threat that has to be blocked by one of these two. Menace has to be blocked here. Yeah, that probably just wins us the game, right? So we need six. One, two, three, four, five, six. <clears throat> yeah, let's do that. Decline. They're at three, so just putting it on a one, one is totally fine. This should be lethal. They have no cards. They have to double block the Draugr, and they can only have one other blocker, so they're going to take, like, seven here. Okay. 
Seems good. Wrecked. I mean, I'm definitely most scared about the uh, make a zombie for every creature that died. Because, like, <clears throat> Turgrid Shadow into that is very, very good. That's a sweet combination move. I think this is actually fine. <clears throat> Necromancer is one of our best cards, and we have two playables and one foretellable. Oh, that's definitely changes things. Okay. Jesus. Mono death touch dot deck over here. <clears throat> Okie dokie. Let's hold that in case we draw a black source. Good times. Next time we're just going to start playing four drops. <clears throat> Pass to attackers. Snap block Varagoth. Seems good. Just, uh, just crushing it here. So, <clears throat> Draugr's Helm's actually not bad. Sure. <laughs> You got it. I mean, if they get like Raven's Wings out, we're actually pretty dead. Okay, that is not a raven's wings. Oh boy. Faceless Haven. That's interesting. <clears throat> um Uh, yeah, that's fine. <clears throat> we got like one creature in your red, sure. 
Hmm. No, just taking four. Sure. Yeah, I have no idea why they're running this thing. Like, they have literally no snow permanents in their three colors. It's very weird. Um... I'm going to get to keep rights up, sack a token. That seems pretty good. <clears throat> we got elf, 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 five elves right now. Plus two, plus two, and death touch. I mean, that seems pretty good. You got it. <clears throat> so I have two cards. We have like 30. I do like that. Okay. That's too much. I think we're just sacking this guy anyway. I think I want to hit lands and have things to do. There's a land and a raise the droggy. Two, three, four, five, six. <clears throat> Unfortunately, Kennelmaster doesn't do much here. We're still going to get in there with this guy. Which one do I care more about? The thing is, if I kill this guy, I think I care more about this guy. <clears throat> Two, three, four, five, six. Next time we can pump our team. Sure, that seems good. So there's 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 17 damage. They might have, they might have sack two creatures. I mean, in which case I'll sack two glade walkers, I guess. <clears throat> Hmm. So if we block with both of these, we lose one. They lose their whole board. We lose one, they lose one, right? So it's one, one. Two, three, four, four. They make six guys. That doesn't feel great. What do we got in here? Just a pack mate, huh? Okay. Way down. <clears throat> okay. Well. God. I just feel real bad. I think one of these is the sack two, and I think the other is like, give your dudes a million, a million. And unfortunately, this doesn't... I guess it gets them to double block like this, but I don't think that is good enough. I think we're playing this guy, and if they want to make us sack two guys now and sack two for themselves, that's fine. Okie dokie. Um...
Yeah, no attacks. <clears throat> okay, okay. Hard cast that guy. Sounds good. Pass two attackers. Death Nell Berserky Boy. Alright, um, hmm. Another elf. <clears throat> I'm gonna get this guy off the board because we're at six poison and I don't feel like I feel like the 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 few yeah I think the fewer guys they have on board the better the the worse their their card is plus we can cast it now I did forget about that that's pretty good no attacks. <clears throat> Can I do elves? I get plus two, plus two, and death touch until end of turn. That's pretty insane. Like, with this board, the most they could do is kill, like, one dude. Oh, they also only have one black up, so they actually can't... Do we just kill them here? They can't make a sack two. Oh, they can, they can sentinel to, to make a sack two, but then they can't also play their... Yeah, they can only do one or the other this turn. And we're at 14. Yeah, I think we're just going to try to win here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So you can jungle plus 2, plus 2, and death touch. And we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 elves. And they also only have 8, eight damage on board. Sure. <clears throat> Oh, we also have Finn on board. So, like, we could literally, if five get through, we just get to kill them with poison. Yeah, this seems good. Yep, had a feeling. Uh, let's not resolve that yet. They're going to lose two blockers, too. <clears throat> uh, okay. Resolve this. They don't have any black left, right? No. Okay, cool. Get rid of 1-1 one, one, and 1-1. One, one. And we get to keep these guys, so we get to play their guys now. That's pretty good. Yeah, go to the blockers. Gotti. Our deck is kind of okay. Is this a tribal set? <laughs> oh man, good times.
right, sure. I'm not super excited about this hand, but that's okay. Two duck cubed. This name sounds familiar. Black. Very simple. Yeah, we were trying to play around two cards last game. The Barter and Blood and the uh, Get All My Creatures Back from the Graveyard. Uh, if they block before the sack two card, then I just sacrifice whatever creatures they're not blocking. Or whatever creatures they're blocking. So, no, it's definitely, you definitely play a pre-combat. Or pre-blocks, rather. Give me that sweet, sweet bird. Okie dokie, that's a big boy. Hmm. Hmm. Four butt, huh? Do we attack with Necromancer? I don't know. Three and three, six. I think we actually, let's take this guy. Where are you? You're a black psycho. Forest here. <clears throat> okay, we're getting somewhere. Chipping away. I can actually block the bird with the sentinel, and that's pretty cool. Oh, wow. I like that. <sighs> See what happens here. They have four mana up. It's a lot. Okie dokie. I mean, are they playing like... I mean, if they had like Doomscar, they could have foretold it last turn, right? Feels silly not to have done that. I don't know why they're, I also don't know why they're not blocking. If they were going to Doomscar, I can't imagine they take seven and then kill all the creatures. You just block, right? So, I don't know. All right, just going to win the game, I guess. If you guys are enjoying the content, please consider subscribing or following on twitch.tv slash Frank Lepore. It is a great way to support the channel. I kind of want Broken Wings because we did see a flyer. And I have to assume their deck has some sort of enchantment. They have a ton of ice. They got a ton of ice. I'm going to take Raise the Draug route. So, I mean, they're playing white. So they could have... Um, Icy Manipulator, or they could have Bound in Gold. So, I enjoy when I win as well. Strange, I know. Sounds very unexciting, but I'll keep it. I'll keep it. If we can draw a, an Elvish Warcaller. Nope, we could not. We could not. We're just going to play this guy and then give it a counter. And that seems pretty beast. So. Well, there are elves galore in our hand. So. Dan's good games to you, my friend. It's green. Okay, sure. You got it.
I'm actually going to play this guy instead now. Like, reason being, if they kill this, we get to draw a card. This puts more power on the board. It's a lot of swamps, gonna be honest with you. You stay home. That seems fine, especially with a raise the draugr in hand. I see. I mean, like we got mono snowlands over here, but I haven't seen anything really taking advantage of it. Oh boy! Yeah, that's going to be harder to deal with. And we whiff. Yep, okay, so this game is not going as we'd like. And if, especially if they just go mono lindworm, mono ravenous lindworms, it's pretty bad for us. Oh boy. Well, that's not terrible. I feel like hundred percent exile. Oh, what up, Big Lou? We have three cards and a Fortel card in hand. Not feeling great about that. Okay. They gotta have something here. I'm deciding what to cast. Interesting. Sure. Okay, which one's going on top? The friggin' right? Yeah, definitely take. Yeah, definitely go on top for that. Sure. Oh, what? That's not. That's stupid. I didn't want this guy back now. That's terrible. Actually, now it's better. Because now we guarantee a hit. Oh boy, we're taking out. We're, yeah, we're taking 5-5 five, five instead. Yep. This seems good. So we have 7 mana. We can go Outrider and Wings. Attack with Harold. That was actually pretty decent. I don't feel bad about putting the guy on top now because... Um, I don't actually think this is, I think like we actually want to put the, the wings on here and then attack with both. And if they block, it's fine. They have one card in hand. Like that's pretty good.
Like, we get to trade with the Grim Draugr and draw a card. End of the turn. Also, every Guardian Gladewalker draws a card. If someone can link me to the information for the sealed, um, I would be appreciative. Okay, they draw two. Sure. That seems good. Four six is big. I mean, I feel like Raven's Wings is going to win this game for us, especially with the Grizzle Outrider. So we just get to draw a card here. Deal. I have my own Cosima. It gives me two elves. Oh, awesome. Appreciate it. Always bet Jojo. Don't like that, but we're just going to kill that. I mean, they're at 10. This is a two and a half turn clock. We get to play Outrider and Skimfar. Sure. It's still two, it's still two and a half turn clock. Like, that doesn't really change much. <coughs> um... Put on the bear, because now we can trade with both Cosima and Lindworm, so that seems fine. The Vorn card. I'm going to have to look at the details. We get to draw a card here and take out their Lindworm. I think it's just better to actually block here. Like, next turn we get to kill one of their guys and still have lots of things. Okie dokie. Um... Play land, I guess. So every one of our creatures is lethal with Raven Wings. It's pretty good. Looking out my back door. 3-0 again. Two drafts in a row, guys. Really, really appreciate you guys hanging out. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Definitely consider subscribing or following on twitch.tv slash franklapore. Uh, you can also check out manatraders.com. They have a great subscription service. And you get a 15% off discount if you use the link and promo code down below. That's also a great way to support the channel. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. I will see you next time. Appreciate the support.